What's up YouTube? How are we all doing today? Today we've got another review for you. And today we'll be doing the Tom McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse from Earth Negative Eleven. The Drowned. I don't know why they don't just say that on the package, but this is the one female of the bunch from the Dark Knight Metal storyline. Which I actually was a lot cooler than I thought. I got almost got the whole story. I wish I could find her one shot though. I'm a sucker for those foil covers though that they have. So that's probably why. I guess our regular version because I can't have that. That one look as eye catching as the others. But it goes in the packaging. One of the big things I do remember that she did was when she came to the main Earth, the regular Earth, not the dark Earth. She actually turned Mira into one of the trench. If you saw the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Here goes back of the box. See that artwork. I believe that is actually the cover shot. Of course, down here's some of the other ones. This actually is the way for. If I remember, yeah, that's the way. I'm showing the way down here that actually you build the merciless, which I gotta get started on that. So side of the box there. Dark Knight Metal, Batman, Earth, negative eleven negative because like I said they're in the dark multiverse. If you read the story you understand there's the other shot. And she does come with a stand. I see only two twist sides in there. Gotta hope I haven't had her in here too long because I want to definitely uh not have any figure warping. She does actually look like she has a Aquaman staff. That's from her earth. That's basically what I'm guessing because like I said I had this is the one book I haven't read yet from the series. And top of the box, curious, nothing like on Marvel Legends, but I'm impressed. Like you said, I already got four, wait, no, three back here. Bad New Labs, Murder Machine, and the Devastator. Being a Transformers fan, that name still kind of <laughs> cracks me up that I got away with it. So give me a second here, guys. We'll get her cracked open, and we'll be on with the review. And we're back and got the drowned or as known Bryce Blaine. I actually like that little play on the name. Out of the packaging already. A nice little, I think, cool pose already. Guess I will notice one thing. You can see it. It's kind of hard to tell though, but she's just slightly up off her stand. Yeah, I tried to get her to stand without it and it wasn't going to happen. So she comes with her, actually it was Aquaman's trident. On her Earth, which is from the Dark Multiverse, Earth number negative 11. Now, the bio card on here says something different. She actually, yes, her father was Martin Wayne. We don't hear enough about her dad. Her mother, that's kind of a little weird. Yeah, Mark 10. <laughs> so you got to play on that Martha. <laughs> God, I'm so glad he... <laughs> I thought he should have played that off of her saying something, just jab a guy that said it. <laughs> and on the card here, it says somebody going after the Elanians. Well, it was more than just the Elanians. She was after every metahuman. And I actually wiped out all the, all the land metahumans. And the death of her beloved Sylvester Kyle. That's why I wish I had this book. And just first did it, and then went after everybody in the ocean. That's the whole thing. But she did splice her DNA so she could actually be able to talk and everything down there <laughs> with an Atlantean. That artwork on the card looks really cool. Same as the big picture back here in the back of the box. So, yeah. <laughs> I wish I got this book. I know somebody had it, but um, you know, one local shop I got to had it, but I wanted to, you know. Getting the, uh, she saw the past ones, the Devastator, the, the Batman Who Laughs, and Murder Machine, all that oil on boss, oil cover. I just made those pop. I don't think that would have made this one really look neat. Because it kind of gave it an in-depth look. But sculpt-wise, I'm already enjoying this. Just checking her out. Because I'd love to know more about the monocle-like thing here. She does kind of look like a pirate. <laughs> This definitely has a look seaweed. It even feels like it. This is my first time checking that out. Try it in out there. <laughs> Hair sweat. It looks like she's underwater as it shows in the box. I think, you know, this could have been a little warpish from being in the box for so long. That's not be why. 
And the outfit here looks, I mean, they did this really good. So that's four, the Dark Batman down. I still could get the Merciless. Red Death. And I want to say the Dawnbreaker. I think it's the last one. Let's go ahead and have a good close look at her. Let somebody. Where did you go? I know it fell right down there. I hit another something. I don't know how well you can see if it's got the DC logo there. There's the peg. Well, I know her peg holes are right. Right in about the middle archway of her feet. It's got those heel style, but I'm trying. For some reason, she does like to lean. Wait, don't tell me now she's going to stand. I'm going to adjust it just enough. I'll try getting her to stand on her own. Those little heels ain't going to happen. <laughs> Got her tried it. It was really good. It makes me wish they'd do an Aquaman figure. Because, I mean, all they got to do, they could reuse that. That is actually good. Yeah, there's a lot of bat detail in there. I was expecting to see that bat in there somewhere, but nope. <laughs> Nobody on the handle. This is definitely a Lanian. So that's definitely off her Aquaman. Right away, there's one thing on here that kills every Hasbro female buck. I'm trying to think, does that hang on? This one does. I tell that does, but it won't actually go in. I'm trying to tell how the arms are. Yeah, sculpt his hair, hair. I mean, you can feel it. It has a little bit of good texture in the hair. Or leather jacket. Or, I don't know if it's a leather jacket or not. See him cut back here, kind of match the back cape a little bit. So there's that. Has the usual cowls. Oh, great hand articulation here. I wish he did have some extra hands. This one here just looks so good and creepy. Almost like got broken fingers. So I, I can't do what this one has doing. Oh, hell, well, you can see, see how that index is. I don't know if it's warped or it's just how it is. It looks really good. <laughs> Let's see, here, get some of this. I'm trying to see. Okay, so there's no other joints there. She might have a waist. I don't even think she has a waist. Well, wait. There might be one. I'm not looking up her skirt. I'm trying to check out a thing is. I don't know if she's got any waist or diaphragm. I think there is a little bit of a diaphragm in there. It's all like hidden underneath. It's very hard to tell. <clears throat> Sorry, I got something stuck from lunch. Yeah, that looks actually it does look great in mold wise. And like other also Hasro, you can actually tell she's got breasts. <laughs> I don't know why the heck all the female figures, there's no cleavage lines anywhere. Her head, the hair does hinder. She's going to get it turned a little bit, a little more on going to the other side. Can look down a little bit, up, oh, forget about it. So I'm thinking there is a diaphragm joint in there. Arms can do a good full 360. There is a bicep swivel and double jointed elbows. She has to go right up and touch her face if she wants. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. That just a uh, better <laughs> full wrist rotation, and this hand goes up and down. Or actually, is that just a joint? Because I think the wrist and I think the hands on it's separate. And yeah, the hands a separate joint altogether, so you could really have some fun with that. <laughs> Uh, that would actually be some good fun. Her shoulder on this, I don't know if it's in a little bit or what, but it looks like my shoulder's inward some. And oh, there is a slight butterfly joint. I did not even realize that to just now. But this section of hair kind of gets in the way of this side. And let's see, any waist swivel in here? Hard to tell. I haven't messed with the legs at all. It's my first time. The legs go up that high. 
back that far. If I can get a little more than that, it'll mess with it a little bit. So it's heavy. It's a, I think there's a thigh rotation in there. I see a cut right here anyway. Might have to be loosened up though. This side, not so much. That one goes up a little bit more. I think there is a little bit. There's a little, very little. Double jointed knees. I don't think there's any boot, no, no boot cut. She does have an ankle pivot. I think there's something. I can go up. Go back, go up. I think there is some ankle pivot in there, just the joints loose. The joints a little snug. It's on a ball joint. Yeah, all in all, I think if it ever was, I swear I could get some help to understand. But one other thing I forgot to say about the detail, her boots. I really feel like she might have <laughs> skinned off that outfit from Mira and made her boots out of it. Or maybe another Alanian. I think Riku, there's like, you can even feel there's texture, like a little fish scale texture. The seaweed, yeah, it definitely has that feel. <laughs> It's like a real soft rubber plastic. I keep trying to tell here. Nope, that's actually just where. Oh, she has a gun. I didn't see that till just now. Oh, gun holster, but there's no gun in there. <laughs> oh, that big long seaweed skirt. I don't. It looks like it, but I am not. I'm just trying to see something. Oh, there's no. I thought there was a thigh swivel. Guess the tower belt is here. It makes me think that strap for the gun. Or boot near. All in all, I mean, I, mean, I hardly had a little more articulation, I believe. Can't do really mess with her feet some more. Get, can't get her legs out there. You know, that looked like she's out there swimming. Oh, and there is a toe joint, which is definitely confusing. <laughs> that looks so weird on a boot. Never kind of going like. If you had a stand anyway, you'd have to have a stand to pull this off. Looks like swimming a little. Falls out of there. A little bit easy. I'll have it just right. <laughs> Do that kind of have that look like she's in the water. Once well, you get the stand, have her to stand like that on there, but I doubt it will. Let me see, try the other side. I kind of doubt it's gonna last. Oh no, it actually does work. All right, so that, looks, that looks good. That looks good. I like that. Yeah, that hand definitely makes some good thing. But if you have, well, I'm gonna try putting it in a fish tank. <laughs> yeah, I like how they pulled this off. I'm glad we got to introduce these characters, and yeah, she was killed by Aquaman. Spoiler! Oh well. Like I said, the story was back in 2017. Too bad! <laughs> that's what I can say. I'm surprised Funko hasn't done, you know, that's his sign. Sign of something weird. They've done, I think, just about everybody except her. Well, that Barbados. Which is our big leader. You know, the Joker, the Batman who lasts was more like it. Should put some of those joints in there, figure things out. Ooh, ow. Wait, the Quran knows how to get you pinched by the joints. Yeah, it's, I like the way they did this up. I just keep thinking, I felt like there should be a joint up in here somewhere. Boot the air in there. That probably is hidden underneath this. I don't know why I could have made some way to get that a little bit more softer plastic. Let me see, how's she stand now? <laughs> there, she's actually lined up better. I don't know why the other side was that way. But yeah, this is one figure that was definitely really fun to have. <laughs> she's kind of get acting like Ursula there a little bit. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get that lay. There we go. 
So yeah, I like it. I'm glad we got this edition. I'm surprised. For one company, I mean, it's all Batman. But if you want to think about it, it's more on the Aquaman line. I mean, that's all you get. Her stand, the card, her trident, and the figure. And that hair. Which is a real cool thing. <laughs> I should love to see them do some of the other characters, though. I'm still waiting on other DC characters to show up. But come on, Todd. I know we got Batman, Batman. But there's so many other DC characters you can do. I think that's why I made me happy to see. I think you did sneak in a few other characters. In some other ways. But we really need to see some more, man. <laughs> <sighs> I can name a bunch, but I don't, don't want this going on that long. So I'm like, yeah, I want to break the, don't want to go to the 15 minute mark. But all I say, if you're a fan of the Dark Batman, definitely pick it up. I still see a statue, I think, one of my Game Stops on clearance. I kept thinking about buying just to compare. <laughs> she's actually, it's a little bit smaller, but it is on a base where it looks like she's underwater. That's the only thing we need is some kind of fifth piece like that. But I definitely let, I, the figure surprised me. I mean, there is some some joint limitation where certain things not there, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> My like, comment, subscribe, leave your notification bell. Check out the description below for other channels. Help these channels out. I know Last Ketchum's aiming for 500. Come on, man. I see you guys are checking out her playlist I got going on. So go ahead and get in there and sub up to her. Deluxe Ball one we get. Uh, everybody in there, and I know there's some of my playlists as well. If you like this stuff, go subscribe, stay subscribed, help out the channels. So, just remember, learn how to love, forget how to hate, be kind to one another, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes! Rock on!